and welcome to Small Gold, Shanghai Gold Exchange withdrawals update for the month of June 2017. Shanghai Gold Exchange withdrawals rose 12.6% in June to 155 tons, up from 138 tons in May. Shanghai Gold Exchange withdrawals year over year were also up 12.3% from 138.5 tons in June 2016. So through June 2017, gold withdrawals were at the third highest level compared to prior years through June. Let's take a look at some charts and what does this all mean? Well, the Shanghai Gold Exchange is a good proxy for gold demand in China, not what the People's Bank of China adds to its gold reserves because it hasn't added any gold to its reserves since October 2016. We'll see that tomorrow. But the Shanghai Gold Exchange is doing a very, very brisk and robust business. As we mentioned, 155.5 tons withdrawn. And let's take a look at some of the charts. You can see it's been elevated ever since the end of 2013. You've had the peak in 2015, but still some very strong months in here, very strong years. We'll take a look at some more charts in a second. But before we do that, just to highlight that the this is something I put together in 2014, but it's still true today. Shanghai Gold Exchange has withdrawals, deliveries. That's what people do. That's what they go to the Shanghai Gold Exchange for is to get physical gold delivered. COMEX, on the other hand, is where people go to get exposure to the price of gold. And it's a place that I say where traders trade gold and silver they don't have to other traders who don't want it. And that you see all the time. We saw that the other day with the flash crash. Somebody selling a ridiculous amount of silver they obviously didn't have. Um, you can't do that on a physically traded exchange. Now you would say, well, why doesn't why don't these physical exchanges take control of the pricing mechanism? After all, they deliver far more gold and silver than the uh, the non physical futures exchange like Comex. So you can see here. Look, this is the amount of gold that's been withdrawn the last three years from the Shanghai Gold Exchange versus the amount withdrawn from the COMEX. Yeah, well, that's nothing. The difference there is so the volume, the dollar volume trading on COMEX is ridiculously higher, even though they don't deliver any gold, figure, um, almost literally deliver no gold. The amount of trading is higher. So because the dollar volume is on the paper futures market, it still controls the pricing. Sad but true. Let's take a look at some more charts. Here's other June, so we got 155.508, uh, rounded up to 156 tons of gold withdrawn in June. That makes it the third largest June ever at the Shanghai Gold Exchange. Take a look at some other charts here. <clears throat> Here's where we are year to date. Now, if we keep along at this pace, you know, we should do probably about 2,000, let's see, 19,000. Yeah, well, they should be well over 2,000, about 2,000. 2,000 tons. Last year was 1970. So we're running at about the same pace as last year. So probably 2,000 tons, but we'll see how things go. Here's a better way of looking at it. Here's a Shanghai Gold Exchange withdrawals through June. So at this time last year, they were at 974. In the record year, they were at 1178 at this time. And 2014, they were at 951. So right now, this is the third highest level. Let's just take a see if we can get them both on the same screen. There you go. So here's the 984, the 984, that's what I was saying, about 2,000, a little under. But, um, you know, if we continue at this pace, again, another 2,000 tons withdrawn. There's only less than 3,000 tons probably this year that'll be mined. So that's just a Shanghai Gold Exchange. We're not even talking about Indian gold demand, which as we'll also see in the next day or so, is having a record year in terms of gold imports. And that's where India gets... 99.9% .9 of its gold because it doesn't have any mining. Well, it may have some secondary supply, but the most part's under 9.9%. .9%, but for the most part, most of gold's, India's gold demand is satisfied through imports, and they are way up, as are Hong Kong uh, gold imports to China, as we see the, the withdrawals on the Ch Shanghai Gold Exchange. So, very robust physical market at the moment in Asia in the gold market and that's about it for today please remember to like this youtube subscribe to this channel and also subscribe to smoggle.com thank you very much